50. Footwork and handiwork from Davidovic Fokina. To control the ball, they were flying a lot. So maybe he took a racket with a tighter string here. A nice little run for Davidovic Fokina as he upends Medvedev. Some terrific racket work. Oh, and Foki fires a fastball that Medvedev can't handle. And number seven for Davidovich Fokina is anything but lucky. Well, Alejandro, huge congratulations. It's the first top five win in a while, and it's a first victory against Daniel in your career. Tell us what it took. Well, you know, it's not an easy year for me. Uh, a lot of changes in my life. Then, you know, to to have this opportunity to win a, a like a player like Daniel, it gives me a lot of, of strength and uh, like a, like power to to continue growing and growing deep with Fernando because we are doing a very good job. And you know, I'm very happy for this win because at the end of the set, it's not easy like uh, to close a match and and less with uh, Daniel because he's a very solid player. Then I, I had to be calm today and, you know, don't, don't think about the result. You started so well. Second set kind of got away from you pretty quick and then you reset. What, what were you telling yourself when you did take a break after the second set? Well, it was uh, in the second set he moved very, very fast with the result and was already 4-1 with two breaks. And, and in my head I was like, there is no chance to, to break him to, twice because he was serving very good. Then I was like, OK, let's go with the, with the result like this and, you know, uh, like to give everything that I have in, on the third set. And I just said uh, to have more calm with myself, to be more patient because in the second set I was playing against him more like a, a, I was playing like, a, like he was a wolf in the second set then. I would like to do, I have to do the same tactics at the first set. Yeah, and, and one of those tactics seems to be going to the net. You're, you're really positive, you're moving forward a lot. Is that something you've been working on in, in Atlanta and Washington on the hard courts before you've got here? Not really. Uh, I mean, you know, Daniel is one of the best players in the baseline. Uh, the, uh, to play against him from the baseline is like, uh, like impossible. You have to do a lot of things. To, to, to win him from the baseline. Then for me today, this game had to be a lot of more things that to play against each other, backhand cross or forehand cross.